Hey guys, what's going on? Hey Snock, and welcome along to Monday, the 10th of July. It's a brand new stream, and we are starting a brand new game. Yes, following on from last week's completion of Penumbra Black Plague, we are going to jump into the um, prequel, which is called Overture. I hope. If it works. Hello. There we go. Yes, so Penumbra Overture is what we are going to play. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump in. My story began in February, year 2000. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. Let's turn that off first. Oh, I've seen this before. Oh, I've seen this before. So, hold on. I actually thought this time we'd be playing as Howard, but no, we are playing as the same guy from the uh, Black Plague. But this is obviously um, how he gets to the research facility. But yeah, this, this scene we had in Black Plague in the locker, right? So, Philip, yeah, his name eluded me. Sorry, Aaron. Thank you. All right, flashlight. We're going here. Oh, more whiskey. Can we take it, the whiskey? Uh, dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I have left you a little something to remember by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board, taking shifts because... There's no way to get your rest, but what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'm praying every night for you to make catch you need, you need so that you can come home to me safely. And soon, please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I will, might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. Sorry, my audio is a bit loud. Uh, just let me correct that real quick. Sorry. Something I didn't check beforehand. I checked everything else. There we go. That should be better for me. Uh, right, so. Uh, I wish everyone was yours. I know you'll get them covered in all sorts of fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing that they've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout, but I said they were mostly out of season. If they do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. All right. I take the bottle. Can I? All 
Oh, I can't take the ball. Well, if I can't take the ball, be gone with you. <laughs> and now my volume mixer is in the middle of the chat. Go away! Jeez. So the map's good decade out of day, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so I've got a pretty decent idea where I'm heading. Notebook? Well, I didn't realise P was there before, but we've already written something in our notebook, even though we didn't pick the notebook up, of course. So we need the emergency glow stick. Could that be in the key? I guess this is like a tutorial, right? So, yep, there's our batteries. Emergency go slick. And. Alright, let's head out, shall we? I stood up the boat sitting out into the blizzard that had formed around me. I realised how utterly devoted I'd been to discovering my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first. But I lost feelings in my in my extremities as soon after, and I knew hypothermia was setting in. I started to look for shelter. So, did Howard then looking going back to like the opening cinematic? Did Howard say he was dead because he went to work for? Um, yeah, I can't think of their name now. But yeah, is is that part of the deal? You have to say you're dead just to get there. Jot it down a note just in case. Lost in Blizzard may be my last entry if I don't find shelter. Yes, the shelter. But I can't. I can't. The doesn't. Don't. Who they call themselves? Don't they call themselves something beginning with an A? Must break ice. Um, okay, did I miss something over here? Quite possibly. There we go. I didn't get the whole interact mode. Open please, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hey my girl Hiroshi, what's going on buddy? Welcome along. Right, we've hit a safe spot. Empty boxes of ammo. Before we had our first Introduction to our flashing in the distance nonsense. I'll take that flare. Thank you. Didn't I have a crosshair in the last game? Um. It's really off putting not having a crosshair. Let's see if I can swing this hammer. If I hold left mouse, I can take a back swing by pulling the mouse right and then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling back and then thrusting forward, producing a stabbing motion. I reckon if I hold down right mouse after back swing, I should be able to look around. 
Hmm? Hold on, wait. So, do what? Okay. There we go. I just bashed the crap out of everything. All right, so we're gonna go that way. Let's go and check out this other room though first. Take the flare. So there's no way to. Oh, there's no way to like quickly put the hammer away. So I have to literally do that. Okay. All right. Take that. And then we're gonna want to pull this out of the way. I find it weird though, considering this game came out before Black Plague. Like this one's got like a whole tutorial thing. Like it, the tutorial is part of the game, whereas uh, Black Plague has got something. Um, um, Black Plague has got like a totally separate tutorial session. And she goes, "Yeah, we're playing. This is the prequel to the the one we played originally." All right, so let's start. Okay. I know I'm going to do there, but. I really should have gone to investigate. Maybe I can do put my hammer away. And I pull this over here. Does that take me back? Yes, it does. Alright, so now I can go back this way. Back through here. What? How does that Oh, it's that's just that just goes round. What? Hold on, I'm. That's trippy. That's like world portal stuff, man. Seriously. This passageway makes no sense to me. Does it? Oh no, they both lead up. That leads up, that leads up, and then leads up. Okay, makes perfect sense. Oh. Alright, so now we're going to steel rod. Hold on. And let's go down here, where the thing was like manically bashing on the door to try and get out. Whatever I was sending into, it was 100 feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realised that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency switches, services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there if something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like a felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might be it might help me. Friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. So this is A. So we played the sequel of this first. So this now becomes technically this becomes the prequel of A. Of B. Alright, right, this is the first game. Alright, this is the first game. I've jotted down a note. The entrance to the cave is caved in. There must be another way out. Yeah, don't um, don't count your chickens, Buster.
Alrighty then. We know all this anyway, so. So where are we going to go? Office, storage, workshop. Hell, I'm going to explosives. All right, let's try office first, I guess. See what we find in the office. All right, so I actually found out about these things, these things here, which I didn't really understand before in the in Black Plague, but they're actually save spots. I didn't realize that. So, <laughs> uh, command bunker emergency airstrip Zulu weekly report another remarkable, unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standing standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I've ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on in due to the increased snowfall. One wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause of concern back in back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take a partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storage room. All right, that's handy to know. And I'm sure that's where they learnt the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up that manual in the chest in my office and will keep it on my and keep the key on my person at all times. Need to say, both men have been disciplined and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out, stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. This base is so disconnected sometimes I feel as if, as if war could end and we might not even hear about it out here. Supplies, requisition order, dynamite for excavation, seven bayonets, one industrialized pick for removing the dam ice that forms in the external hatch. One pair of reading glasses, category 7C, in order for myself, my glycerin, rather poor state of repair and could do replacing. Recondition of the mine continues to progress. The structure is being fortified from potential bomb damage and excavation of previously caved areas is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find architecture and artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be a man-made man and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can, can't discover the source of the light which constantly emits from it. Chief NCO may N Major. Wow, 1945, jeez. All right, I think we should just drop the conversation now, <laughs> okay? Another note. Copenhagen Post, 1930. Wow. Bottom of the mine. Research at the University of Copenhagen suggested that the mine altering chemicals naturally sown into the rock may cause the high suicide rate of the Greenland mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern Lead Mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures from the last 100 years were abnormally high at 46 deaths per 1,000 populants, 100,000 populants compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed in many of the minor symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysogenic, lyser, lysergic acid a pH4 formula recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties may be present in the rocks. A few locals were conducted into conductive to interview but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits known as the Turngate live in the mountains. The university is awaiting results of chemical testing studies continue. Yeah, let's all right, so all right, let's let's clear this up. It's the original, but the way we're playing it, it's the prequel to what we 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 play for a start. Okay? It's the prequel. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. All 
Okie dokie. We'll just have a quick save. A man. An old man clutching something unseen. He's strange, and yet he's no stranger. Never seen before. I still I know this man before me is Howard. I call him father. Ooh. Okay. So, um... The guy said he'd locked it in the chest, the key, right, for the explosives manual, because we're blatantly we're going to want that. Beef jerky, nice. Um, but he said it was in this chest in his office. I doubt very much it's going to be in here, but yeah, it's locked. So we need to find him to get the key, right? No doubt he's going to be dead somewhere. Beef jerky. Alright, there's a lot of beef jerky. So we need to find him. And we need to find a key, right? So, yeah. Let's go and uh, see if we can't uh, find a key, shall we? Workshop is this way. Locked door in the middle of the mine. Stops us from getting there, so we've got to go storage. At the minute, because we don't have a key. Sorry, Drew. All right. Dogs. No, not dogs. I hate dogs. Maybe I should get my hammer out. Okay, some sort of code or something? I hear you, dog. So lighter is empty. That's not chatting, dude. That's a dog. Let's save. Quick save. <laughs> Um, make some noise. What have I got that can make? Oh, I could do this, I guess. Hammer time.
No? Alright, so there's nothing in the warehouse, nothing in storage. different colors red white why would these ones in particular tell me what color they are it seems weird I think we're on the wrong track here. So I'm guessing I can fill my lighter up and light these lamps at some point. Holy shit, they move fast. Fuck me. Um. Alright, so. Maybe, yeah. Can I not? What? Okay. Oh. Gotcha, Aaron. Thanks. So we're going to go back to the office then, I guess. I don't see anywhere else. I can go at the moment. Do that. Hey, look at that. Big book of explosives, the 1923 edition. Hey, look at that. The black match fuse is one of the oldest, simplest, and most reliable fuses used in modern pyrotechnics. It's easy to create, essentially consisting of just string and gunpowder. 
but be warned the chemicals concerned will stain clothing and will, as always due to concern is due concern is advised material required string so we need to find string and some gunpowder because we've already got the back, back string right uh, the string should be coated with a thick layer of back string which acts as an adhesive the string is then carefully rolled in the gunpowder and left to dry at least a couple of minutes before use invented by alfred noble in 1866 dynamite is commonly used in construction mining and demolition it's proved far safer to handle than alternatives such as pure nitroglycerin provided that it has been properly stored over time the explosive component of dynamite supposedly made safe by the presence of diatomonucus ursus has a tendency to weep making an old box of explosive liable to detonate on contact Material required one part of that earth, three parts of nitrous crystal, and small amount of sodium cardinite. Text unreadable, and then simply form into short sticks and wrap into paper. So that one actually won't tell us how to make it. Interesting. <laughs> American Independence Day. <laughs> TNT was first discovered in 1863 by German chemist Joseph Wilbrand, but it took some years before it yielded its true potential. This was because the difficulty in making it explode and the lesser detonation in comparison to dynamite. The main advantage was discovered by the German Navy, who employed TNT relative explosive stability in order to cause massive damage to British warships. Their torpedoes could be detonated inside a ship's armor, armor rather than exploding on contact, as did other shells. Armstrong's mixture. Right, so there's a, it's kind of a bit missing here. Gone from 2.3 to 2.6. Armstrong's mixture is included in the book as more a point of interest than a viable chemical mix. The formula exists as somewhat of a legend in modern pyrotechnics, referenced by those knowledgeable enough to stay away from it as death mix. It's incredibly volatile, making it unstable, unsuitable, sorry, for almost all p potential applications. Material card: red, phosphorus and barium the mixture can be caref care can be carefully and slowly mixed to minimize risk to the chemist sulfur can substitute for some or all of the barium to slightly decrease the sensitivity okay so we need string and we need gunpowder it seems so where may we find those i wonder we got like a notes. But we checked all this, right? <laughs> hey please, come on, let's 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 let's, let's not bring that up from last night. <laughs> it was a genuine mistake. Um, okay, so we have that. I've got no more beef jerky. I think the dogs are going to be a tougher enemy in this game than the things were in the previous. So can I take this? Hold on, can I not take back the string? I need the string, right?
Can I not take that from here? Obviously not. Hmm. Like root through the trash, maybe? Oh, hello. I see a trapdoor. Right, can we like smash this trash up? Let's see. Maybe not. It's open. Can I break it open? I thought they were like garbage bags, but I think they're actually just um, rocks, right? There we go. Once I go down here though, there's like no coming back. Spiders. Oh my god. Right, put the hammer, putting the hammer away is quite annoying. Day one. I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be scientific value. Despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous, my aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives. And to that end, I have barricaded myself in a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. All right, so that's probably that. Well, we can't get through, right? I hope that the... May our meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that I and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely thirty years since the incident that brought us here, and now thirty years on, fate has struck again. Uh, go on, then, Aaron. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesized that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. My first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both these assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. My best estimates is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of, of aid and I have found only my door only danger, sorry. I approached the old living quarters, but curiously, couldn't find no sign of life, could find no sign of life whatever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but I found myself threatened by some species of feral creature, which seems to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beast. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. In the inventory at the top, there are slots with numbers. Put the items there. Ah, ah, thank you, Aaron. That's very helpful indeed. I'll do that rather in a moment. I'll definitely speed things up. 
Um, for some time I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within the area I discovered a storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe from time. The place is a maze. My lesson learned, I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic, supplies diminishing, lots of spiders in this place. I don't like spiders. I caught one of the accused eight-legged beasts nesting in my open mouth when I, oh, when I woke up this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not much of an act of swallowing, with, which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be likely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. Any known venom would have disaffected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since, since then. But look, luckily, coincidence, this revelation also means I've discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. So he's going to eat spiders. I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible uh, I intended to venture into the basement beneath the storeroom in the name of science to discover more about this creature's natural habitat. For four days now, I've been surviving solely off the quite considerable s s s sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I'm struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady looks smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died and I made a second life saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only light still for a few minutes and when I have tracked enough of the beast for, for a rather hearty meal. So what you're telling us like stay still I ain't standing still you got another thing coming all right got more of the diary my early assumptions on the Depending on the nature of my cellmates have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemical stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any such supplies I can find. However, my evidence against such a move is insurmountable. I have no source of light. I swore to myself I would leave until I heard human voice outside. Spiders are so tasty. Oh, he's really addicted to spiders. Sorry, guys. Uh, from the marks I've been making on my walls and my scribbled diary entrings, which in the dark may amount to an eligible scroll today in the hundredth day of my new life. You need to toilet yourself. <laughs> no, you need to go to the toilet. Uh, over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this result of my plundering in their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all else fails, I am never recovered. I hope at least my study of and indeed involvement with these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important part in natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there more through fluke than talent. And it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough to be insignificant for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. Great job, Nock. GG. All right, what do we get up to? Oh, I've got to go pick those things up again. All right, so let me do this then, and this for now. Oh wow, I just wasted the flare. Not to worry. All right, so we'll go pick these up again. Yeah, we came through there.
see if we can go around another way, maybe. This is maybe a potentially a bit safer. Hey, there's my ladder. Alright, let's put the ladder back. It's one good thing, right? Alright, that's where we got a ladder from. Alright, what are we doing here then? That's what we're doing there. Hey, we got some lighter fluid. Excellent. Hospital Grey. Alright, anything in here? break that. Alright, so... Excellent. Let's put that on three. Thanks for the tip, Aaron. That's really going to help. Oh, come on. I think my flares, like... On his last legs here. Flare just reminds me of Alien Isolation so much. Oh, come on! Alright, so we've... We've explored all this, right? What the hell is that thing? Is it a dog? It's been scratched, though. That's quite concerning. Are you a fan of Alien Isolation, Aaron? I absolutely love that freaking game. Very sad that they're not going to be making a sequel. Very sad. Alright, we've got a key. It's been some time since I recorded any findings in my relationship to the spiders with whom I have shared my existence for the past eight months, partly due to their enforced retreat from the, their basement territory. Not too long ago, their behaviour became overly aggressive, and so I attempted to barricade the main entrance to their lair and secure myself within one of the smaller rooms above it, the only one with the operational door lock. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. The other reason is that I have been recovering from a minor operation which I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of anaesthetic. Without the aid of anaesthetic, wow. If I did have any anaesthetic or surgical tools, I couldn't afford to be less than diligent in my work. So an anaesthetic was out. Surgical tools are all well and good, but although it may be becoming old and rusty, I still trust my pen knife to do the job just as well. The procedure itself is elementary enough. A simple amputation of a non-vital organ. I began to notice a thick 
glue like substance forming on my tongue and I was forced to accept that it had become infected through constant toxin ingestion so that's probably why he didn't make much sense if that's what we heard he was making weird sounds because he can't talk because he's had to cut his tongue off jeez <sighs> Uh, day 300, another century of days comes and goes. It seems like so long since I since I escaped here. At some stage since my last entry, I attempted to return from whence I came. That from which I originally was fleeing seems a fate far worse than the ones I now face. However, in the time since I arrived from the larger mining system, a cave-in has occurred, blocking any further progress. I was forced to return and accept whatever end life has, for me in, has in store for me now. I still hear my aggressive little friend scratching on the door to my cell. Wait, what's that called? Spider Hater's Note. So now he hates the spiders? Didn't hate them before, did he? Oh, that's his tongue, man. That's his tongue, man. Alright, there's nothing else in here of interest. So, hold on, I wonder, hold on. Let's see if I can do... I'll piss off. I don't want the flares. I can't take that, obviously. Alright, well. Here's what it is. Alright, just some things come through the wall. Let's get some of that beef. I'm gonna move these flares to like nine. Okay. Hi, Aaron. No worries, buddy. I will catch you tomorrow or later today, as you rightly said. Um, yeah, we are coming up to the end of the stream, aren't we? It's not like there's a way I can, like, move this or do anything with it. I wonder if I go back down here. To be sure, we'll save. We'll save. Yeah, so I wonder if I go back into the mine, whether anything different happens down here now. We never did find that spider, did we? That, like, we saw for a start. I don't think we can like smash through this, so it's not really going to make much difference. All right. There is nothing else down here. Those boxes can't be destroyed. So...
Oh, can I not climb with that? I guess not. Alright, well that seems as good as any place, guys, to wrap it up for today. Um, thank you everybody for coming along and uh, checking it out. Just before we finish up today, guys, I do want to kind of just give a little shameful plug to something. Um, I was approached... Um, I was approached earlier on today, actually, by the developer of a game who is making a puzzle platforming um, game. And it's called Obscure Challenge Your Mind. Um, it actually releases in about eight days' time. Um, if you like some things like The Witness, um, then this is the sort of thing you, you may like. So, um, yeah, it's, it's released on Steam in about eight days' time. So go check it out. Go have a look. Like I say it's got Obscure Challenge Your Mind. And um, if you're interested, give them a follow. They'll appreciate the support. And I will potentially be covering this either on a stream or via YouTube um, once the game does release. So um, make sure you um, stick around for that. But guys, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, my links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. And um, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Until then, guys, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.